Back on that boxing grind, I know what it is. Your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the boxing clinic of more. And I was reading an article um, about Victor Conti. You know, he was the the you know performance enhancing steroid peddler. <laughs> and um, I think he got popped for doing some time, but he's back uh, helping athletes stay clean with the snack program SNAC. SNAC. You might see that on like uh, boxers uh, trunks or shirts they wear. I think Sean Porter's part of the program. Demetrius Andrade is part of the program, and now he's trying to clean up his act and make some legit money, I would guess. But he had an interesting he had an interesting uh, question, you know, and about the whole situation. And I hope Nevada State Athletic Commission answer, you know, gets the answer to this question, which they probably won't because Vegas is very corrupt and biased towards Golden Boy to begin with. Before Floyd took over Las Vegas and was the biggest ticket holder, the biggest ticket puller, and the main attraction for all the amenities, Oscar was that guy there. You know, you talked about close fights, fixed fights. You know, the rumors are out there. But Conti asked a very, very important question. I would like to know where Canelo Alvarez got this meat contamination at. I would like to know where. You know, and that's a good question that I haven't heard anybody bring up. And that's a very, very um, great question. And, and that should be a question that should be very, very potent in this investigation. Where was you at when you believe you got this meat contamination? And let's go pay some people to see who's eating this meat because I'm pretty sure... Canelo Alvarez ain't eating in the slums, you know. He eating some good, some good food, and 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 he his people probably buying the meat. Or if he going to a restaurant to eat, we need to investigate the meat that that restaurant or that area is selling around that town that you was at, you know. And then anybody else got clinical ball in their system, we pay them and, and take a test and see how potent that 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 um performance enhancing drug or that drug is into the people of that area, you know. And if you know, if that ain't part of the, the investigation or, or something similar, then it ain't a real full investigation, is it? If they're not trying to track where he got that, where he got this uh, this uh, clincher ball meat contamination, you know? Um, I don't think they did it with Luis Neary. Like I said, if it was somebody else, if it was a G Gennady Golovkin, a Gary Russell, or if it was an Anthony Joshua, you know, they wouldn't be getting any of a pass, even though Canelo getting a lot of flack and, and backsplash. But, but real talk, you know, if they're not going to trace where he got it from, then... Um, it's not a real negotiation, you know, a real investigation. And I hopefully Gennady Golovkin, Abel Sanchez, K2, and that whole team, Triple G, is, is pushing for that question to be answered. Because that's a, that's a very, very simple and important question to an investigation. Where was you at when you believe you got this meat contamination? Because uh, you tested positive here, here, and then you tested it. I mean, tested negative here, here, then you tested positive here, and now you're negative, negative. And why it's so important about the negative test, well, why people still don't believe the negative test, because... You can cycle off of it and still benefit from what it brings to the body. It's a way that you do that. And um, but like, yeah, I hope they find out where he got this this p this this clinical ball from, and what meat did he get it from? What meat did you eat? What area did you eat this meat in? When you believe you got it, we can go around test the meat or or test the people in that area, pay them some money, you know, for, to complete our investigation. And if the people in the area is walking around with clinical ball and eating this meat, and they got it in a in a system. Then that will definitely clear Canelo Alvarez's legacy, in my opinion. Nobody can question that. They do a real investigation, not with the WC doctors, with a third party to go out there and test these guys. You know, people out there and test the meat. People out there in the community got the meat from. You know, and they say, oh yeah, you know, the third party say because they got no ties to WC, WBA, or Canelo Alvarez. That's why you need third party and say, yeah, he definitely got it from here, or no, he didn't get it from here. I mean, if he's truly uh, clean and honest, and they do the investigation and. You know, they say, yes, yeah, it's, it's potent in this, in this area. You know, I understand how he got it. Then, one, the mistake shouldn't be made again. And, two, Canelo Alvarez's name is clean because you hired a third party to handle the situation. It wasn't WCWA or, or Canelo's doctor. So that's a very important question that Victor Conti uh, wanted to know, and I think it should be answered. We're gone.